As Asia continues to outperform in terms of raising capital, we're seeing that in local and regional funds that are performing exceptionally well, local knowledge and language capabilities is a key driver in giving them an edge. Sash, what trends are you observing in the talent scene? This survey has really come at a time where dry powder um, and deal making globally has really been at a record high. What we're hearing from clients is the velocity of virtually everything has been accelerated. Deals are being completed a lot quicker, funds are being raised a lot faster, exits are presenting themselves a lot sooner, financings are being executed a lot faster. Um, and I think more, more so than ever before, the accelerated impact from disruptive technology and social change has really powered, uh, if you like, an appetite for private capital. And this has really had a significant impact on talent across the PE landscape. For one, within the investment professional talent pool, we're certainly seeing a diversification play um, as funds are really looking to expand beyond core buyout. And we're seeing a lot of momentum in niche areas like infrastructure, TNT growth, social impact. And I think this has really powered a lot of incremental hiring for PE funds at the investment professional level. The other interesting change that we're really observing is the role of the operating partner has really changed in the last 12 months. With dry powder being where it is and with increased demand and competition for deals, valuations are at a record high. And so value creation is really not about pure financial engineering, but it's about rolling your sleeves up, taking an active uh, operational role in these assets, but also leveraging the portfolio to drive value creation. And I think the role of the operating partner in this new landscape has, has really gained in, um, in significance. The final piece around talent is really the impact of PE and VC money on the overall ecosystem. VC funds are looking at generating and building that next unicorn. Um, they're really over-investing um, and entrepreneurs are really looking at growth and driving growth in a significant way. So we're seeing a lot of demand for niche the skill sets in areas like product and engineering where there is an imbalance between demand and supply.